Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In this video, we'll be talking about what payment methods does Klarna accept and what are some examples that we can use for Klarna itself. So here we are, we are in the Klarna app and for us to be able to use Klarna, we would need to have a card or some form of payment methods that we can use for Klarna itself. So as a quick overview, we can use Klarna to pay an item that we want into monthly installments. These can be in different ways. Uh, we will talk about that later on. But let's go ahead and go to our settings to check out the different payment methods. So what are the things that we have here? If we go on the bottom right, we can click on you. And then let's go ahead and go into the settings clicking on the gear icon on the top right. Now let's go ahead and go into the shopping tab. We can see this payment methods information. And as you can see here, here are the payment methods that we can use. So I currently have a bank account connected to it. And also I have a card or a stored card connected to it. So with the bank account, you will need to verify it as at the moment I have not verified. So I will need to do this as well. And once that that has verified, then we can secure our Klarna from any forms of fraud. Now, if we go into the actual bank account, we can then get all of the information that we have. I am blurring all of this out just for my security purposes. But as you can see here, we can remove the bank account or we can change the connected bank account if we want as well. And then if we uh, want to continue, we can go ahead and click continue. This will then allow us to log into our bank accounts. So let's make sure that we have the online banking set up on our current bank to be able to do this. And what are the other ways that we can use for payment we can use a card itself so we don't really need to have a bank account we can use a card that we can uh, we can use a card that we have so Klarna currently accepts uh, all major debit and credit cards such as Visa uh, Discover Maestro and MasterCard however prepaid cards are not accepted so let's make sure that our cards is available uh, we can then add multiple cards if we wanted to so all we need to do is click add another card right here this will then ask for the name of the card the card number the month and the security code that comes at the back of the card itself now if you take a look here at the bottom we also have this auto pay option so you can think of it as kind of like a monthly outstanding payment where you know um as it says right here you can set up an automatic payment for your for all your pay in 30 days and Klarna card purchases so this is very simple all we need to do is toggle this and then select a card and that's it now if you take a look as well there is this Klarna card so this Klarna card or virtual Klarna card allows us to be able to purchase anything using the Klarna card itself without having to to go through the you know paying things off in Klarna we have an actual card for this but for this to be applicable to you you will need to have or you will need to wait in the waiting list and as you can see to apply for the Klarna card you need to be 18 plus you have a registered uk address have a registered minimum yearly income of ten thousand pounds and have repaid at least one previous purchase with klarna in full and on time and as you can see here i am eligible for all of those so i am now in the waiting list now let's take a look at an example of how we would purchase something in klarna and how the payment methods would work through this. So let's go ahead and say, for example, 
I want to take a look at this shoes right here. So the Nike Air Jordan 1's retro, a uh, high OG in pine green color. And for the information here, you would see all of the available stores that has this edition. And as you can see here as well, if it has the K logo or the Klarna logo, this means that we can click on Klarna or Klarna is available for checkout service. And if it is not available, then we can still use this store and still use Klarna for payment. Now let's go ahead and say, for example, I'm going to choose kick screw store right here to purchase that um, Air Jordan once. And then let's go ahead and choose a size. Let's go into checkout. And then as you can see here, we can check out by credit card or by Klarna ETC. But say for example, that we don't have Klarna available in this website, we can still go ahead and try to pay using Klarna by clicking on the bottom left here, pay. Take note of the amount of the item that you're trying to buy. So I'm going to click on pay right here and then click pay with Klarna. And then we will need to choose the amount as you can see here. And for a common payment method or monthly method for Klarna is to pay in three. So this is because the pay in three option allows us to purchase an item and pay for it in full without any interests in three monthly installments. So as you can see here, we have 113.33 per month for three months. So that would be paying the first payment today and then paying another in 30 days and paying another in 60 days. And then once that uh, we have paid for that, in within Klarna, you'll be able to see your monthly payments right here. So I'm going to go back and show you a monthly payment that I have done. So I'm going to go on budget and then I'm going to go on my payments right here. And as you can see here at the bottom, I have bought an item in Moss and have paid 18.63 per month. And of course, if it is not divisible by three, then it will just adjust it automatically right here. You can see here that I bought the item on the 21st of March and then had had to pay it for the 20th of April. And then it would be the 20th of May as well. However, you do have the option to pay ahead in time if you wanted to. This is all entirely your choice, but as recommended, do pay for the entire things in your agreed term. For this, you will then be in a favorable position for Klarna and you'll also be able to have better access or better deals with your uh, Klarna account. So say for example here, I was able to purchase a concert ticket for nine monthly payments without any interest. So this is because I'm showing Klarna that I'm responsible in my payment and all my expenses as well. And there you go. So all of these payments will be credited towards your stored payment method. So this can be either your bank account or your stored debit card or credit card. Well, there you go. I hope that you have found this video useful. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will speak to you next time.